Hello YouTubers, I'm R. Matthews and here I am locked up in my bathroom where it's safe and I'm going to show you guys how to clean an N95 face mask. This one I had in my truck, my work truck for about three weeks ago and it was dirty but easy cleaning and got it back to its original stage so I notice when I wear these masks we tend to always take it off and we touch our face so make sure you wash your hands real good before you remove your mask I mean peel their mask off contaminating their face so what's the purpose so the best thing is clean your hands first before you can use before you put on your mask and taking it off I mean cautious I mean if you're getting technical with this thing is you even need I believe you need glasses too because if you breathe in, if it's in the air if the virus is in the air floating around like they say you're wearing the mask you still got your eyes exposed so you're gonna need some goggles or something that's just the way it is I mean you want to protect yourself but then you have <laughs> other elements that you have to worry about your eyes so I guess the best policy is just be prepared and watch and see how I clean it okay here I have my 3M N95 mask and um, I want to show you guys how to clean them and keep and uh, reuse it what I have here is some Dawn dishwashing soap and some antibacteria soap okay you want to have some warm water wet the mask Okay, don't worry about this part. It's a plastic rubber seal that when you breathe in, it closes. And then when you breathe out, it opens. That's okay. Don't take anything and try to Q-tip or anything and try to clean inside of it. It's okay. Just leave it. It'll rinse off. Whatever's in there, it'll rinse off. Okay, take a little... Dawn soap, just put a little bit around it. And what you want to do is just use your um, fingers and soft, gently um, scrub it. It's fun. It's funny how I um, do my construction and we have these masks plenty of them before this outbreak took place we'll use them for about an hour or two and then we just dump them I mean how wasteful that was but we weren't thinking there was gonna be a big old outbreak and there'll be a shortage of masks so what I did is Put a little Dawn soap in here. And just gently, gently use your fingernail or your thumb, fingers to um, get this, you know, maybe your the oil on your face off of it and whatever is on there. Okay, clean the band, 
Okay, now you want to take that um, antibacteria soap and just spray it on there. And do the same. Don't worry about this piece right here. I know slowly it will loosen up, but just get yourself some hot glue and just re-glue it back and it'll be okay. So you want to thoroughly work the soap in and out of the mask. See like I right here I have a little probably my oil from my skin and dirt. Okay, I got it pretty good. Now let's get some warm water and rinse it. What you want to do is just do the same. Gently move your finger so you rinse the soap out of it. You'll notice if you have a mask that you've been using, all the area where your nose is at, you'll see like, you know, oil from your skin and probably the dust that you breathe in, you see a little sign of it right here. That comes off of it. So what I'm doing is just pressing it with my finger. Make sure the soap is all rinsed out. Okay, that looks pretty good. Probably run a little hot water. Make sure you wear some gloves. It's pretty hot. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, what you want to do is get yourself lots of clean, lots of paper towels and just ball it up, make it like the shape of the mask and let that soak up all the water and to keep this form. There you have it like that. See, like I said, this will slowly come loose. I glue it earlier. I mean, this is the third time I'm washing this mask right here. So, apply hot glue on both sides and you're okay. I mean, if you want to speed up the process, you could get a hair dryer and dry it up. And after you let it dry for probably a, an hour, it'll be completely dry. Just change the um, paper towels. Leave it in an area where there's a nice little breeze or if you have a fan, that will even work better. Don't try to, um, <laughs> do not ring this thing you'll lose this form okay and how you as you let it dry okay I have a spray bottle here and I have rubbing alcohol on here. 
hopefully you guys have some in the house I mean they're hard to get to right now at the, at the moment it's hard to get anything after it's dry what you want to do is get rubbing alcohol and spray it spray it completely with rubbing alcohol this way you know for sure anything that's on there is going to be killed plus if you use the soap that will rinse everything off anyway I noticed that hand soap do the job of cleaning your hands okay there you have it a clean N95 mask ready to be used again for your next adventure there you have it once it's dry it'll be like new these things are pretty good the filters on here are pretty durable so don't do like what I used to do now I'm gonna look after this crisis I'm gonna look at these masks different when I use them at the job site I will recycle them for myself because look at it look how hard it is to get these things they're like gold and it's sad that people are hoarding these and trying to sell them for like what 30 times the price of this thing that's ridiculous so people if you're watching this help each other out don't try to price gouge people that really need these alrighty thanks they say if life give you lemon then make lemon meringue pie <laughs> that's what they say right all right, guys, I'm out of here. Enjoy the video. Thanks. And please subscribe. Stay out of harm's way.